edition of Author Fan Face Off. The idea is very simple. We get one author, one fan, pair them up, see who knows more about one of the author's best loved books. I'm Steve Shankin, and you know my co-host as the leaping librarian from Castleton Elementary School in New York, Stacy Ratner. Hello. And our special author guest today, author of many best-selling series and books. We're going to focus today on the spy school books, particularly on the first spy school book, which was called Spy School. School. Hi. Stuart yeah. Gibbs, welcome. Hi. No, thanks. Home. Thank you for having me here. Um, I'm really uh, worried about how poorly I'm going. <laughs> that could be an issue. I mean, what the, this won't be um, you know, graded, but do you remember when Spy School came out, the first book? Uh, I mean, it was probably nine years ago, maybe. Eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine. I have it in my notes as 2012. So, so, oh, so, okay. Yeah. All right. I give you credit for that. That was a, was it a big deal for you? I mean, it was it wasn't your first book, but it was. Uh... No, but okay. but uh, I should say uh, this is something I do know about it. Uh, that it, it was actually an idea I had had since I was a kid, and hmm. so it was it was an idea that I had been trying to figure out how to tell some way or another for like a tremendous part of my whole life. And so, uh, so it was, it was really exciting to get to write it. And it's been just wonderful to see that other uh, and look, uh, kids have enjoyed it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got the, you got the poster. I found that poster, I'm so excited, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope right. you remember it well. I don't think I can. think our, our challenger does. <laughs> Um, I wanted to introduce um, Joshua. He's an eighth grader from Fort Worth, Texas. He was recommended to me by his librarian, Mrs. Center, as the perfect person. So a huge Stuart Gibbs fan. Um, when not reading spy school books, he likes to play basketball. And I did hear that he was his school spelling bee champion last oh, year. So we okay. have a champion on our hands. So give yeah, it up yeah. for Joshua. Yeah. 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 Really? <laughs> Smart person. Uh, yeah, okay. You're just looking worried. You're looking a little concerned. I am. I am. I, I say I gotta. I right. I should. I should be finding out how how long it's been since Joshua last read. Yeah, but you have a new. You have a new one coming out soon. I won. Yes. That. Yes. In. In uh, one month, almost from today, Spy School Revolution will be out, oh. which is the eighth book. This is an advanced reader guide. Kids are always like, how do, wait, it's out. They get, they get very upset, like, how can you have it? And I don't have it yet. But uh, this, is, this is an advanced copy to make sure that it's uh, all good. And so, but yes, in, in, uh, in one month, on October 6th, this will be out. All right, so hopefully the, the characters and settings are in your head. I do remember who they are. Yeah, you're <laughs> Okay, we'll just jump right in. We'll just start with All questions right. and see okay. how it goes. All right. I'm going to start with a question. We're going to, Stacey and I will go back and forth. I'm going to start with a question for each of you and then so on. So for Joshua, in what city is the spy school, the CIA's Academy of Espionage, located? Uh, Washington, D.C. Yep, that's right. That's okay. right. I, was, right. I knew Joshua. that one. I knew that yeah, one. I'm just going to start, you know, get harder. As we all go. right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. What is the name of the school Ben's parents? This is for you, Stuart. What is oh, the name of the okay. school Ben's parents think that he's attending? They believe he's going to St. Smithens Science Academy for boys and girls. Very good. Nice specificity there. I appreciate that. All right. Okay. This one is for you, Joshua. When an assassin sneaks into Ben's dorm room at night, with what weapon does Ben fight off his attacker uh he finds off with he fights off his attacker with a tennis racket yes. you got all it right, right. okay is... Stuart. yes oh are you ready um, i'm ready what is ready. what is alexander hale's favorite drink oh uh he he drinks gatorade he uh, uh, he's gotta gotta keep hydrated for when the assassins come really so excellent Okay. I'm not awesome. surprised you guys know what you're doing. Too all. All right, we're going to keep going for Joshua. Right. Okay. Erica comes from a family of spies. Who was Erica's great, 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 great grandfather? Uh, I think it was Nathan Hale. Correct, Nathan yeah. Hale, a famous spy Ooh. from the American Revolution. And Stuart. 
Yes. What is Zoe's nickname for Ben? Uh, Zoe calls Ben Smokescreen uh, because she believes that uh, he's so terrible at being a uh, spy in training that uh, it has to be a front, really. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I think you guys are pretty well prepared. I know. What are um, so three all? All right, Joshua. Ben has a special gift for this subject in school. Ben is really good at math. Excellent. Excellent. Right, right. Not spelling or <laughs> right, right, right. like Joshua. Yeah, yeah. All right, Stuart. Everyone at spy school thinks Ben has amazing ability at spying, at what spying skill? Uh, they think he's good at beating people up. Is that, is that what? Uh, he, the he's spying failed. skill, like the, um, oh. that he can do. Uh, oh, cryptography, cryptography. Yes, yes. You think he's really good at right, right, I got it. Right. Right. <laughs> That was, we got it. Okay. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a call a friend situation there. All right. <laughs> That's a tough one. Yeah. All right. As I say, there. I wasn't kidding. They're getting harder. All right. Joshua, you still feel good. Still look. You still confident. He looks yeah. so confident. He's not even That's got to be disconcerting if you're the opponent. Yeah. Uh, all right. At spy school, it is an insult to call someone a Fleming. What is a Fleming? It's someone who thinks the spying is all about uh, glamour and thinks it's going to be just like James Bond. Wow. That's oh a very God. complete, a very excellent and complete answer. Yeah. Yeah. Based, obviously, you were, you were a fan of Ian Fleming, I'm going to guess, the James Bond books. I, well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. I was a huge fan uh, as a kid. And, and then I just realized as, as cool as Ian Fleming is, somehow just the last name Fleming kind of. Sounds a lot like lemming and maybe flounder, flounder lemming. I don't know. So it doesn't it doesn't sound so cool just on its own. So it was, it was actually kind of a good insult. Yeah, that's good. And for Stuart, what is the objective of Operation Creeping Badger? Oh, that is to uh, find the mole at Spy School. Wow. You guys are really good. We had 10 questions, five, five, but don't worry. We do have a tie break around. And these ones are, yes. they, right. they really all do right. get harder. I really, I've been testing all these on my son, a big fan. Okay. So right. I can, um, I can vouch for these next two. Okay. All right. Yes. Um, Joshua, what is the name of Ben's dormitory? The Bushnell Hall. No, this was also named after another revolution spy um, named James Armistead. And that's, this is why this one's so hard. I don't even know if it's said in the text. It's certainly in, in little headings, when we're, you know, in the chapter headings where it says, it's true. I'm not sure are. that it's ever mentioned directly. Very time. tough. But uh, hey, and we're in the bonus. Okay. Kind of, you know, uh, yours is, believe me, uh, yours is uh, not any easier. Uh, <laughs> All right. So, and here for the tiebreaker. When an assassin comes to Ben's room, Ben claims the killer has the wrong guy. Who does Ben claim to be? Oh my goodness, I, I, I actually do know this one. Uh, he claims to be uh, Jonathan Monkey Warts. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I did not think that that would, well, I guess, I mean, you wrote that what? I, I didn't I did write it. I didn't write it. Right. Right. Still, right. It hasn't come up. That has not come up again in the subsequent books, has it? Uh, it has not. <laughs> no, but I, but I I am I am I was working on the Spy School screenplay at one point, and that was so so that did jog my memory. Was, okay, very good. Was, uh, his uh, his name there. So yeah. I had a bonus Ooh. question just for fun. Okay, in case we were still tied. And this is another one of those ones that's it's only in in those those redacted letters at the beginning and the end of the book, uh, you know those letters that that kind of are summary of what right. what right. happened, yeah. but they have the big bars through it with lots of information. Okay. Um, where is and I want the city and state. Where is the real CIA headquarters located? Oh, either of you guys. Um, yeah, sure. 
Langley, Virginia. Oh, yeah. Langley, good job. Virginia. Very good. Yeah, that, that's Very really good. Um, not even in the text of the book. So you really right. have to be wow. an expert to get that one. Wow. Wow. Wait. Thank you, guys. Yeah. That was very good. I don't know if I would have got that one. That's actually where it's really located, but I don't even know if I would have uh, remembered that. Oh, really? Place. That's good. I'm glad you admitted that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll call it 5-5. Five, five. All right. Yes. yes exactly. yeah. Yeah. Very oh, good. Joshua, how are you feeling? <laughs> Is is that, is that because of this, or is that because just that's how everybody feels in America these days? You know? <laughs>